Hi Zoe, this is Katie Mack. Um, your dad sent me your letter here. Uh, and I was gonna answer some questions for you. Um, I'm just gonna answer really briefly, I hope that's okay. Um, okay, so you asked, what made the particles hot to make stars and sun a hot gas? So the way that happens is there's a whole bunch of gas and dust out there in the universe and gravity sometimes makes that come together and, and sort of collapse. And when that happens, the center of that clump of gas and dust heats up and then sort of starts burning with uh, through nuclear fusion, which is where hydrogen particles come together and make helium particles and produce a lot of energy out of that. So that's, that's how that happens. I could get into more details, but it would take a while. But basically, it's just gravity and gas. OK, second, where, what, and how did the Big Bang happen? Uh, the Big Bang happened everywhere. Uh, when it happened about 13.8 billion years ago. How, how it happened, we don't know. Um, we don't know. Something happened, uh, and all we know really is that in the distant past, the universe was hotter and denser and somehow smaller than it is today. And that was true everywhere. Every part of the universe was hot and dense and filled with, like, like hot plasma, just like the inside of a star. And over time, the universe expanded and cooled and became the kind of dark, you know, place that we see now with galaxies and stars and things like that in it. So that happened everywhere. Every part of the universe was once hot and dense and now has, is, has cooled down and is becoming, uh, you know, is changing over time and expanding. So there wasn't one pl place where the Big Bang happened. The Big Bang kind of happened everywhere, which is a weird idea, but that's, that's what it seems like. Uh, every part of the universe was, was denser in the past. Okay, uh, was there only one Big Bang? We don't know. We don't know. Um, there could have been, there could be like a sort of cycle of universes over and over again. The universe could like have a Big Bang and then expand for a while and then maybe collapse or something like that and then a new one could happen. There could be different parts of the universe that are still in sort of a different kind of state and expanding in, in, some, in their own way. So there are lots of possibilities there. We don't, we don't really know. What is dark matter? Um, that's what I'm trying to figure out in my research. I'm trying to figure out what dark matter is. It's some kind of stuff. It has mass, so it has gravity. Uh, like like you know, planets and stars have gravity. Dark matter is something that has gravity, but different from planet, planets and stars, it doesn't seem to be something we can see. It's invisible. It doesn't seem to interact with light, so light just passes right through it. And we don't know why that is exactly. We think it's some kind of new material, some kind of new kind of particle where if you get a whole lot of them together, they have a lot of gravity, and we can see the effects of them because in galaxies, the dark matter is more stuff than the regular matter, and so we see the regular matter moving around in weird ways. Uh, so that's, that's dark matter. It's some kind of weird new stuff that's invisible, and we can't see it, and we can't touch it, but we're pretty sure it's there because it does, it makes other things move around in, in strange ways. Okay, next question. What does dark matter do exactly? So I kind of explained that. It, it's something that it just has gravity and regular matter kind of collects in clumps of dark matter and comes together and it helps, it helps p hold galaxies together. So I'm, I guess I didn't explain galaxies, but galaxies are just collections of stars. We live in a galaxy and those collections of stars come together because dark matter is kind of pulling them together and holding them in. Okay, uh, why was the Big Bang a bang? Um, yeah, we don't, we don't know that either. Um, all we really know is that something happened uh, to start the expansion of the universe and um, that, that made the universe start expanding and, and cooling and, and so the universe went from being this, this hot sort of dense place to the sort of big open space that it is now. But yeah, we don't know, we don't know why that happened or exactly how. Okay, why was the Big Bang created? Yeah, again, you're asking the really tough questions here. Um, we don't know. We don't know why the Big Bang happened. Uh, we just know that the universe was dense and hot 13.8 billion years ago. 
and it's been expanding and cooling since then. So whether it was something that was set off by an interaction with another universe maybe, um, or if it was some kind of cycle, or if it was just random chance that it just kind of popped into existence, we, we don't know. We're still trying to figure all this stuff out, but you know, the main thing is that we, we have these questions and we ask these questions and we try and find evidence and data and, and use that to learn about the answers. And so the work that I do and that other astronomers and physicists do is we, we ask these big questions and we look at the, at the, the sky, we look at stars and galaxies out there and we see how they're moving around and, and we look at the light that we get from these really distant objects and we try and use that information and a whole lot of math to, to figure out what happened. And, you know, like for example, with, with the Big Bang, you know, I said that we know that the universe was hotter and denser in the past. And the, the way we know that is that, you know, when it was hot and dense, it was glowing, right? It was glowing hot. And just like stars glow hot, we, we can see, we know that the sun is hot because we, we get light from it and we can look at that light and we can understand how that light happened. And that's that's because it's, it's glowing because it's hot. And we see something really similar just out there in the universe, just in between the stars and the galaxies, we see this glow. And it's a different kind of light. It's, it's a light that's called microwave light. So it's, it's, a, it's the same kind of light that, that your microwave oven uses to heat up your food. Um, but just a, just a little bit of that light, but we see it everywhere in the universe. And we can figure out by looking at the patterns in that light that it came from this time when the whole universe was glowing because the whole universe was hot. And so that's, that's a really cool thing that we can do because we, we can collect data and we can compare it to these theories that we have and, and we can do you know, fun things with mathematics and then we can learn the universe started hot and dense in the distant past and we can, we can learn about what that looked like because we can see it, because we can see it directly by looking at that glow. So it's a lot of cool stuff we can do in astronomy. And um, you know, as I said, it all starts with that curiosity and that desire to learn and to to grow and to understand and to look at new information and, and test it with our theories. Um, so it's great that, that you're asking these questions and um, you know, I hope that, that one day you can help us learn some of these answers. Thanks, bye.